This is Twit. The Verge's Tom Warren reports on a leaked Microsoft Windows Phone development kit that features Microsoft's rumored Siri-like assistant called Cortana. His sources say that Cortana will replace Bing Search as the default action when a dedicated Windows Phone button is pressed and that it will have a personality similar to Siri. Uh, with us to discuss this is Tom Warren himself, a senior reporter at The Verge. Welcome, Tom. Hey, how are you? Fantastic. What will Cortana look like on the screen, according to your sources? So, um, unlike Siri, it's gonna, there's going to be a visual representation. So, it's going to be like a little, like a circle, um, which will change um, depending on what you're actually doing. So, if it's talking to you, it will animate um, as if it's speaking. Um, and if it's like thinking or considering something, then it will change based on that. Um, it'll also bounce around. And if you say something weird to it, it'll, you know, it'll have like a, a crazy look to it. Um, so, it's kind of animated, but not like, not like a person. So it's not going to be like the movie Her, where you're going to be talking to this this thing that's like a, a living person kind of talking back to you. We're not like quite there yet, but it's going to be very like very like Siri, just um, with some visual stuff in there. Now, Siri uses a number of, of um, sort of information or data services like Wolfram Alpha mm. and so on. Uh, do we know uh, which uh, services Cortana might use? Um, I don't know exactly, um, but obviously Microsoft's got the Bing search engine and they, they feed in like Twitter and Facebook stuff into there. So I'd expect you'd probably get some of that in there somehow. Um, but you've, uh, Microsoft also signed an, a deal with uh, Foursquare recently to integrate some of their data into Bing and to the Windows apps. Um, so Foursquare will definitely be part of Cortana. Um, and they're, they're mainly using that. Not so much so that you can like search on Foursquare or check into Foursquare, like the standard sort of stuff, but more like to get the location data and the information. Um, because this this Cortana thing is quite heavy on like location and context and knowing where you are and what you're doing, where you're checking into, and and sort of learning that kind of stuff as as you like use it more and more. Now, one of the most interesting things uh, from your report, at least to me, was a feature called Notebook. What is the Notebook feature? Yeah, so notebook is essentially like say say you got a text from your wife and she said, "Oh, do you want to meet at eight pm at, at you know somewhere in somewhere in Seattle? Let's go for seafood." Um, what it will basically do is Cortana will like underline those parts of the text in uh, in in the actual SMS, and you'll be able to click on it um, and then take actions based on that. But it will also it will learn that you've 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 taken actions and you have created reminders or calendars and stuff. Then it will like prompt. It will come up on the screen and say, "I've just learned this about you. Um, you know, am I allowed to store this?" So it's very, it's unlike I guess Siri. You're you're sort of barking commands at the screen. And you're like, "I want to know the weather and stuff." Whereas Google now is very much. Um, it'll be you know, it will just throw prompts at you, and it knows it reads your emails, and it knows exactly what's happening. Um, and it does all that kind of automatically. I think what Microsoft's going for here is kind of like the privacy angle of like allowing the user to be in control of it rather than it kind of kind of being a little bit creepy like going like reading stuff automatically i, f I think they're trying to avoid like being seen that way um so i think the notebook is a big big part of that so it'll store all this data and then you can go into it and say we well, you know what i don't really want you to know that that, you're, that i'm texting my wife <clears throat> excuse me uh, or i don't know i don't want you to know where i work or where, where i live and stuff so you can you can edit that and add stuff and delete it like as freely as you want now, what, what, so, do you, what do you, I'm sorry, go ahead, Elise. Tom, I just would love for you to talk a little bit about the motivation. Why did, do you feel like Microsoft needed to get in this sort of anticipatory computing space? Is it just to keep up with the Joneses or are they making a bigger bet? Yeah, I, I think it's a bit of both really. Um, obviously, Google's really pushing on Google now and, and that, that stuff is, is pretty, it's pretty advanced already, right? Um, sure. But also, like, I think they, they signed the deal with Bing to, uh, sorry, with um, Apple to, to put Bing um, as, like, one of the main data services in Siri just to get that information and just be able to build context around what people are doing, where they're going, and, you know, what's trending and all, all that sort of really important data. Um, and I think that's more a part of their bigger play to, to have Bing as more, like, of a platform so you can use it across apps so developers can, like, tap into it. Um, and I think they're trying to sort of position that, it, essentially in Cortana, they're obviously positioning that, that 
quite well, but um, they're going to position that across all of their Windows 8 apps and stuff. And it's, it's just a way, I think, because they're obviously struggling to get apps on the Windows platforms right now for like the new style apps. So I think this is another thing they can say to developers, look, you can tap into our Bing service and we've got this and we can expose all of these functionality so you can make your apps better. Um, I mean, that's, that's kind of how they're trying to play catch up and look like further beyond actually catching up to the competition. Well, of course, we have uh, Siri, we have Google now. We learned, uh, we reported yesterday that Yahoo is investing in its own project for this kind of virtual assistant. And now, of course, Cortana is coming on strong and definitely headed to Windows Phone. So it looks like these virtual assistants uh, are coming. They're, they're going to be here to stay. And it's going to be like Star mm -hmm. Trek where we're constantly talking to our <laughs> devices. And uh, it's going to be an interesting future, probably a mixed bag. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Uh, but uh, I think this some of this stuff is going to creep some people out. Well, Tom, it was a great exclusive, and I thank you for coming on the show today yeah, to no explain worries. it. Thanks for having me on. All right. Well, you can find Tom's work on TheVerge.com, of course, and on Twitter at Tom Warren.